In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the data table tool in Excel. A data table is useful when you want to see how some output varies as you change an input. What we're looking at here is our hypothetical tax code 2, where we have an input, the total income, and let's change that to $55,000. And we calculate a total tax owed, as well as a total tax as a percent of total income. That tax owed is the sum of those, and each of those pieces is a complicated if function. I'm not going to go over how I got that. That's a separate exercise. This is just to show you the data table tool, where we look at what happens if I change this income value from 5,000 to 10,000 to 25,000, what happens to the total tax? We can, we can build a table of values. So the first thing we'll do is we will build the table where we have a column for total income. And then we also have a column for the output, which we'll call total tax. For total income, let's consider values of 5,000, 15,000, I'll drag these through, down to 75,000. And I want commas, so I'm going to use my format painter. Okay, so those are, those are my input cells. I'm going to vary those. And what I'd like to know is, how does this total tax value change when I change total income from the value it is right now in cell D1 to any of these other values. So with the data table, I have my column of input values. And then in the first row of the table there, I make a reference to the output. Cell D11, the total tax is what I'm tracking. Then I select the whole range of cells, including this blank cell up here in the upper left corner of the table. I look on my data menu for what if analysis data table. This is a PC, but it's the same set of menus on a Mac. Data, what if analysis, data table. And it's asking for an input cell. This, this table is set up with columns, so I give it a column input cell, cell reference to total income. That's what I'm varying in the first column. And I say, OK. And there we have it. It automatically calculated the total tax according to the set of formulas that go from this cell down to this cell. It automatically calculated those for each level of total income that I put in this first column. And I could change it. So if instead of 75,000, I wanted to see what the tax was for 90,000, then I would get this calculation here, this 16,200. So a data table is a really useful tool for seeing how an output changes when you change an input.